we're here with the Keats Point Cadet, David, and he's going to demonstrate how to do, how to check the compass error on the gyro compass by taking an azimuth of the sun. So you can't look directly at the sun because it's too high, so what he's going to use is a mirror which reflects the light onto the gyro compass. So it's a matter of making sure that the gyro compass is perfectly level using these side bubbles. And you can see the line lines right up with 255. So the azimuth of the sun is 255 and the time is 1734. So we need to record the latitude and longitude of the GPS position. Okay, now using a mnemonic device can dead men vote twice gyro error gyro we're going to plug in a bunch of variables here in order to determine what the gyro error is what the compass error is um, as well as what the actual true course we're steering is so the bearing was 255 the time of the bearing was 17 34 40 which is 5 34 and 40 seconds p.m then the position, latitude 24 degrees, 30.4 minutes north. Longitude 083 degrees, 52.7 minutes west. Okay, then we're gonna take this over to our SkyMate computer program. This is a program that uses the nautical almanac and by plugging in a bunch of numbers, it'll give you what the actual azimuth of the sun and other celestial bodies are based on the time and position. So we already pre-populated the date, the time, the zone description, the latitude and longitude. And then we go down, if we hit calculate, it'll tell us that the actual true azimuth of the sun was 256.9 degrees. So we'll write that as the true bearing. So, what this means is we, on the port gyro repeater, we took a bearing of the sun and we came up with 255 degrees. But what the actual true bearing was, was 256.9 degrees. So that means there's some error. So the gyro error will be the difference between the true bearing and our actual azimuth. And that's equal to 1.9 degrees. And since the, our bearing was less than the true bearing, that means the east, the error is to the east. So it's 1.9 degrees east. And now we can plug that number, our jar error, up here. So the G is our gyro heading. We come over and look at our gyro compass. So we have an analog version of this and a digital version. So our gyro heading is 293 degrees. So since the gyro, error, the gyro heading is 293 degrees and we know the error is 1.9 degrees, that means the actual true heading that we're steering, um, see error east, compass least. So that means you have to add the error. So that would be 294.9 degrees. And next we gotta get the variation. variation differs by the, our position on the Earth due to magnetic fields. And normally you would pull this off of a paper chart, but since we're on a ship that is completely digital, you can refer to the GPS, which shows the variation based on our position. In this case, it's 4.8 degrees west. We'll take the true, uh, true heading and we'll apply the variation to get our magnetic heading. Okay, so the variation was 4.8 west, and using the mnemonic device, compass best error west, we would add the variation to the true heading, 294.9 degrees plus 4.8 west. And that gives us a magnetic compass of 299.7. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna go look at our magnetic compass or standard compass and compare that to this number to figure out our deviation. 
So that's our magnetic compass. Does read three zero four degrees. So we'll put three zero four here. And it's uh, just a matter of finding the difference. So three zero four minus two nine nine point seven is four point three. And again, compass best, error west. So the deviation is 4.3 west. And deviation is affected by um, changes in the ship. So loading cargo or being struck by lightning, anything that can affect the magnetic field of the ship. The deviation is also affected by the heading of the ship. This deviation table is created on an annual basis when they swing the ship in a full circle and they record the deviation based on different cardinal points and intercardinal points. So we know our magnetic compass heading is 304. So we run it all the way to where it intersects, which is right here at minus seven degrees west. But the deviation we came up with was 4.3 west. 4.3 west. So it's a little bit off. It's in the right direction. It's not too far off. And again, that could be due to the fact that uh, the, the containers were in different positions or we were in a different load status from when the deviation table was created. So it just shows that we still use celestial navigation to verify compass headings and gyro error. And this will all get transcribed into the compass observation book. Here we have the magnetic compass located on the flying bridge. It's located up here to be away from all other interferences with the navigation systems and metallic interferences. 